I'm Dan, and we are about to take you on a quick tour of some essential musical landmarks in New York City, places featured on classic album artwork from the last 50 years. I've got an unlimited Metro card. Let's go. We're outside of what was formerly known as Andrew Jackson High School in Queens. This album went to number three on the Billboard charts and contained the first commercially successful rap ballad, I Need Love. And uh, while the rapper had already dropped out of this school in the 11th grade, he came back at night with photographer Glenn Friedman and stood on his own car for this shot. We're at 116th and Morningside Drive in Harlem, where back in 1968, a few British rockers posed in front of a German-American's statue. Photographer Art Kane snapped a picture of the band pretending to sleep here in front of the Carl Schurz Monument. It later became the cover for a film and album of live and rare performances that debuted just before the death of their infamous drummer. This American rock legend lived just around the corner at 161 West 4th Street when he was just 21 and playing folk music at local places like Café Wa. It's hot out right now, but back in the winter of 1963, he strolled with his girlfriend on his arm down a snowy Jones Street, that's this street, uh, and into the history books as one of the most recognizable album covers of all time. This Lower East Side street corner became the cover shot for a hard partying hip hop trio's second album. Now they recorded the album out in LA with the Dust Brothers, but named it after a clothing store right here in New York. Well, not right here, that store is actually in Brooklyn. The stand-in was a sportswear store at 99 Rivington, which later became a diner named after the album itself, which is now Wolf Nights. We're outside 96 and 98 St. Mark's Street, the location where designer Peter Coriston shot the cover for one of the biggest rock acts of the 70s. The original cover had the windows cut out and record sleeves could be slipped behind to show different designs peeking through. Uh, coincidentally, this is also the location where Mick Jagger and Keith Richards were filmed for the Rolling Stones video, Waiting on a Friend. So, yeah, if you were living here in the late 70s, early 80s, you were pretty lucky. That's all the album art location spotting for right now, but uh, we realize that New York City isn't the only place where iconic rock and roll landmarks live. Uh, if you know of any from your town, please let us know in the comments. And as always, click the like button and subscribe to Fuse. Good. Huh.